Okay, I want to make a quick video about configuring your NVIDIA GeForce 1050Ti to support all the audio codecs that it's supposed to support. Uh, a little bit of background, I have a home theater PC connected to a Marantz AVR, connected to my 4K TV, all of that's done through HDMI and for some reason I could not get it to bitstream the audio data. So um, all, the, all the audio data would come over HDMI and it would be PCM and I can, can confirm that by pressing the info button on my AVR and it tells me it's all PCM. But I could, couldn't get it to bitstream so I'd never see um, DTS master, you know, Dolby digital, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't see any of the codecs come up when I press the info button. And uh, thought I had it configured correctly, but I didn't. So I want to show you what was going on. <clears throat> so um, one of the things you will need to do to get bit streaming to work in VLC, for example, is go into Tools, Preferences, Audio, and configure your digital output. So uh, basically, say so your output mode is automatic your pass through is enabled and you're going to pass through to your AVR, right? This will be, this will be the thing that decodes the codec, the audio codec. That, that's not enough, but you have to do that to get it to, um, to at least give VLC a chance. <clears throat> the next thing you need to do is you go into your sound settings here, uh, right click, uh, hover over speaker setup, go to advanced setup, and you'll see my Marantz AVR here. Double click on that. Go into supported formats and you see I've only got three supported formats and it goes up to 96 kilohertz. And what I found is this is a function of the display, ironically enough. And so what happens is I'm running the display at too high a resolution. I thought the 4K display should be 4096 by whatever it is, um, but the reality is most 4K TVs are actually 3840, um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I cancel this, I'm gonna go into my uh, NVIDIA control panel, which is right here, double click on that, and what you'll see is the display is set to I think 4096 by 2160, yep, there you go. And I thought that was the right um, configuration for my television. It's not all, cons pretty much all consumer 4K TVs sold here in North America are 3840 by 2160. I should have got the hint where it says native, but I didn't. Um, anyway, if I select this and say apply, I'm not losing anything because that's the actual resolution of my television. And now, um, if I go back into my AVR, you'll see that my supported formats has improved. Now I've got all the supported formats right up to 192 kilohertz. So that's step number one to get um, all your uh, codecs supported. Step number two is you have to go into here and make sure that you run this in exclusive mode, and I'll show you why. If you don't run it in exclusive mode, all you get out of the 1050Ti, all it will do is um, uh, stream PCM. It will not stream, uh, or it will not bit stream. It'll just stream PCM. So allow applications to take exclusive control of the device, gives you the chance of bit streaming. Otherwise it will PCM. It still sounds pretty good. Sounds great to me either way, but I was just trying to solve this problem. So you do that, <clears throat> you say, okay. And then VLC and the rest of the applications will run um, properly and they will uh, bit stream the data. Uh, to configure Kodi, it's slightly different. Let's go into Kodi real quick. If we go into Kodi and I go into settings, system, I click on audio, you see that I've got the Windows Audio Session API set up and 
I've connected it to my Marantz AVR, and then if I go to pass through, you can see I've got the same setup here. And this works perfectly, I can tell you right now. That works perfectly and it will pass through <coughs> all of the um, uh, audio containers to my AVR and the AVR will then um, show that it's Dolby Digital or True HD or whatever. So that's how you can enable bit streaming. But watch what happens if I change one of the settings and turn off exclusive mode because it's, it's pretty interesting. So if I go back out here, go into my uh, go back here. I'm going to go into my advanced setup. Double click on that. Go into advanced. I'm going to turn off exclusive mode. Now what happens if I go into Kodi, you will see that I cannot select the Windows Audio Session API. All I can select is direct sound. So Go into system, audio, direct sound. And you can see I can select the HDMI port, but it's it, the, the HDMI out, uh, interface, but it all has to be direct sound. And that has a number of different implications. So I can go down to pass through, hit uh, direct sound, hit the Marantz thing. And it'll still work, but it will now only pump out PCM. So Again, if I want to go and change that, then um, I go back in back in here and, and turn on exclusive mode. And by the way, this does it for the whole system. So it doesn't matter what player you have. If you turn off exclusive mode, it looks like it will only stream PCM. So um, even though I configured VLC to do pass through, it will it will not it will only um, uh, pump out PCM. So anyway, the way to fix it. Go into advanced, hit allow applications to take exclusive mode, apply, okie dokie, okie dokie. Go back into VLC, settings, system, audio, select the um, Windows Audio Session API HDMI. And we'll do the same down here. You can see if I go to pass, oops, pass through. And now I change it to the Windows Audio Session API. I've got a bunch more items that um, light up in pass-through. So um, yeah, hopefully this helps. This should get you to be able to bitstream or decide to whether you want to bitstream or whether you want to uh, just pump out PCM. And um, the lowering of the video resolution will also help you uh, enable all the audio codecs that your card should support. So anyway, um, hope it helps and good luck.